Johnny Depp has acted in a lot of roles in his life. He has been a pirate, a freak with scissor hands, a talking chameleon, and a wizard. But one thing we never expected to see Johnny Depp as was a victim of abuse. In today's video, we will be breaking down the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard controversy. In 2018, an article in the Sun newspaper called Johnny Depp a wife beater. Before we get on how and why that article is most likely false, let's do a quick timeline of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's relationship. Their journey started in 2009 on the set of The Rum Diary, which is based off of Hunter S. Thompson's book of the same name. Johnny and Amber were workmates, considering the fact they were both actors on set. When the two met, it seemed everything was going to be all good and rosy. Even Amber spoke so well about meeting Johnny. She said, working with Johnny was torture. It was better than I ever imagined, which is really saying something. According to Hurd's court filing, she and Depp began dating around the end of 2011 or the start of 2012. However, Johnny Depp failed to see a potential red flag Hurd had. According to a USA Today report, Heard was arrested in 2009 on a charge of allegedly physically assaulting her former girlfriend, Van Ree, at Seattle-Tacoma International Airport in Washington. The two got into a heated argument and Heard allegedly grabbed and hit Van Ree's arm. Eventually, all charges were dropped. However, it wasn't without Van Ree herself saying that Heard was wrongfully accused by cops who misinterpreted and over-sensationalized the incident. It seemed Johnny Depp had no reason to fear. Fast forward to 2014, and the rumors of wedding bells between the two were everywhere when Heard was spotted wearing an engagement ring with a diamond rock so big it could sink the Titanic. Depp himself confirmed all the engagement rumors in a video interview with the Daily Mail after discussing wedding planning and pointing out that he was wearing a chick's ring on his finger. It's probably a dead giveaway, isn't it? Not very subtle, Depp said. Then in 2015, everything became official when Johnny Depp and Amber tied the knot. They didn't do it the conventional celebrity way, but rather they made it as quiet as possible. They got married in a very private ceremony in their home in L.A. 2016 was the year everything became dark for their relationship. Heard filed for divorce from Depp and accused him of physical abuse. The split up became official when on May 23rd, 2016, Heard filed for divorce from Depp and also filed a temporary restraining order against Johnny Depp. She alleged that Depp had physically abused her during their time together and said it was usually while he was under the influence of drugs or alcohol. She also threw allegations towards Depp that at the time of filing for divorce, Depp had seriously harmed her by throwing his phone at her face, leaving her with a bruise on her face. However, a police spokesman told People that an investigation into the domestic incident radio call found that no crime had taken place. Depp denied these accusations, and through his representatives, he said Heard was attempting to secure a premature financial resolution by alleging abuse. Months later, a $7 million settlement was reached out of court on August 16th, 2016. Depp and Heard also released a joint statement saying, our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Heard received $7 million from the divorce, but donated it to charity, according to People magazine. Fast forward to 2017, and the divorce between Amber and Depp was finalized in court. According to Hollywood, a non-disparagement clause was inserted into the divorce settlement, which meant that it prevented either party from saying anything negative about the high-profile relationship and breakup. It seemed all had ended at the time the divorce had been finalized. Amber had gotten a fat check, and it all seemed over until December 2018 when she wrote an op-ed for the Washington Post in which she discussed the treatment of women in domestic abuse cases. Heard wrote, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. Although she didn't mention Depp in the piece, people already figured out who her fingers were pointing at. Now, in 2019, Depp sued Heard for $50 million for defamation over the WAPO article in which she didn't mention Depp's name. It However, seems Depp felt the article was a stain on his reputation. The suit said that Heard is not a victim of domestic abuse. She is a perpetrator and denied that Depp ever abused her. Instead, the suit said that Heard's allegations were part of an elaborate hoax to generate positive publicity for the actress. One of the biggest surprises to come from the saga was that Johnny Depp claimed that Heard had affairs with James Franco and Elon Musk. It shocked the world that there was a chance Heard was sleeping with James Franco and Elon Musk while she was married to Johnny Depp. However, the defamation suit is still going on till today. 
What seemed to be the biggest scandal of the whole controversy happened in 2020. In January, phone recordings obtained by the Daily Mail were released. In these recordings, Heard admitted to hitting Depp. Heard is Heard saying, I'm sorry that I didn't hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you, babe. You're not punched. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. Meanwhile, Depp said in the recording, I left last night. Honestly, I swear to you because I just couldn't take the idea of more physicality, more physical abuse on each other. Because had we continued it, it would have gotten bad. And baby, I told you this once. I'm scared to death we are at a crime scene right now, Depp continued. Heard replied, I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, sometimes I get so mad I lose it. The recording shocked the whole internet. It seemed the internet had been supporting the wrong person the whole time. The lady who was claiming to be abused had just confessed to being abusive. Before the world could properly digest that scandal, there was another scandal. On July 7, 2020, Depp fought news group newspapers, the publisher of The Sun, in court over a 2018 article in which they called him a wife beater in reference to Depp and Heard's former marriage. Depp sued both the publisher and The Sun's executive editor, Dan Wooten. But unfortunately for Depp, on November 2nd, the court ruled against Depp suing the newspaper that called him a wife beater. As if things were not going bad enough for Depp, just four days after losing a case, Depp announced that he had been asked to resign from his role as Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts 3. He lost a multi-million dollar contract and lost a court case in less than 72 hours. Both Depp and his fans were devastated. Johnny took to Instagram to express how the whole ordeal went down. He wrote in a typed letter, I wish to let you know that I have been asked to resign by Warner Brothers for my role as Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts, and I have respected and agreed to that request. He continued, finally, I wish to say this. The surreal judgment of the court in the UK will not change my fight to tell the truth, and I confirm that I plan to appeal. Unfortunately, it seemed more bad news awaited Johnny because just like his Instagram post, Johnny did appeal his court case for the magazine that called him a wife beater, but things didn't go well on his appeal. On November 25th, 2020, Judge Nicole denied the grant of Depp to appeal against his judgment, saying, I do not consider that the proposed grounds of appeal have a reasonable prospect of success. To add debt to misery, the judge also ordered Depp to make an initial payment of £630,000, which is a whopping $841,733 to newsgroup newspapers, publisher of The Sun, to cover its legal fees. Johnny refused to pay such an exorbitant fee to a company who called him a wife beater to millions of people. He has till December 2021 to fully finalize the case, but Johnny found himself in court again shortly after. Depp and his lawyers submitted an application to the Court of Appeals in London to obtain permission to contest the high court ruling that he assaulted his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Even though his lawyer allegedly found new evidence that his wife allegedly lied about donating money to charity, Depp was once again denied permission to appeal against the high court ruling in March 2021. With all that has happened over the years, the short story of it all is that it was revealed that Amber was abusive in the relationship, Johnny Depp has lost his job and multiple court cases, but Amber has gotten $7 million and featured in Aquaman. She will most likely even feature in the Aquaman 2 movie. And that's all, folks. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get alerted when we drop more cool and interesting videos on our channel. Till next time.